Hello everyone, how are you today? This is Mark. I'm doing just great. Thanks for asking. My niece wrote an essay on the topic I had pointed out. Had you read the book the teacher told us about? In this lesson, we're going to look at the past perfect simple and sentences that end with a preposition. So stay tuned. So let me tell you that I've already talked about the past perfect simple. If you want to look at those lessons, you can click here. Now, past perfect simple is the past of the present perfect simple. And if we have a timeline, so this is my timeline with the past and now as a vertical line and a horizontal line, we have the past and then divided by the vertical line, the future, we can place the past perfect before another past. Okay, so is before another past. What do I mean by that? Let's look at my example. My niece wrote, this is the past simple, an essay on the topic I had pointed out. So I had pointed out is the past perfect. And you can see on the timeline, number one is the past perfect. So this one happened before another past wrote. And this is number two. So which is the closest to the present is wrote, not had pointed out. Had pointed out is before the past simple in this case. So as you can see, we use the uh, had or the verb to have in the past to, uh, as an auxiliary for the past perfect simple. And for a, a positive sentence, we need the subject, obviously. Then we need the auxiliary, had, I said. Then we need the past participle, then it can be regular or irregular, and then the object. So, the example, I had been there by the time she arrived. I had been there, this is before she arrived. Now, for a negative sentence, we need the subject, then the auxiliary plus not, then the past participle, and then the object. So, the example, they hadn't, okay, so had plus not, told him they were coming. In this case, we have the past continuous, okay? So we can use the past perfect also with the past continuous because it's a past. So let's look at an interrogative um, sentence then. WH question word, which is why, who, were, etc. If there is, before, number one. Then the auxiliary, then the subject, then the past participle, and then if there is an object or a time expression. So in this case, my uh, introductory example was, had you read the book the teacher told us about? So which one is number one? So we said number one is the past perfect. The past perfect is here. Had you read, so this is before, the teacher told us about. Told us is closer to the present. So told us about. Had you read? So before, had you read the book the teacher told us about? Now, um, there are some indicators or time expressions and adverbs that we can pay attention when we use the past perfect. And they are before, after, by the time, as I used it here, for, since, as soon as, yet, etc, etc. Now I'm going to erase this and we're going to look at sentences that end with a preposition. There is a lot of controversy about uh, prepositions ending a sentence, but let me tell you that we use prepositions 
at the end of a sentence when you speak informally or when you write a text message, for example, informally, obviously, or a dialogue when you have a dialogue with someone. So I listed some examples. I had pointed out, like in my introductory example, to point out is a phrasal verb. Is a phrasal verb. If you don't know what is a phrasal verb, there is a lesson and you can click here to watch it. Phrasal verb, I, I'll give you a little bit of a, a, an insight, is a verb plus a particle. Okay, it could be a preposition or an adverb. Having problems with your neighbors is not easy to put up with. In this case, we have two prepositions at the end of a sentence. Always when we are speaking to uh, somebody or when we are writing an informal email. Not formally, okay? So, another example without a phrasal verb could be the example that I gave you at the, be at the beginning. He had told us about. To tell about is not a phrasal verb. And in this case, you can see about at the end of a question. Another example. What time shall we meet at? You can see that at is uh, at the end of a question. So, some people say, at what time shall we meet? At, at the beginning of a sentence. That's more American. But some people prefer to use at, at the end of a sentence. It's fine. So now, let's recap. In this lesson, we talked about the past perfect simple. This tense is used with another past and is used when we want to refer to an action that happened before another past. The auxiliary that we use with this tense is had, and then we use a past participle. I also mentioned that we can use prepositions at the end of a sentence, only at an informal context. So, for example, dialogue, or uh, an email, or a text message. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you want to share it, you may do so. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. You'll get another lesson next week. So, have a great week and I see you next week. Take care.